yeah, I haven't talked to you guys in a while since I think like media day, something like that. So it's, it's been a little bit, you know, coach, he's kind of tightened down, which I kind of like. You guys kind of sometimes bug me. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. But no, we're really excited. Obviously, you know, we've had a long fall camp, you know, really good. Good to see some of those younger guys, what they can do on that field. Really impressed with a lot of guys out there. I mean, we're excited, man. Friday night games, it's going to be a kind of old days. This is last year for you, obviously. Has it hit you that this is your first last home game? I mean, a little bit. You know, I was in the training room and uh, Caleb Kelly walked up to me. You know, that was a guy who was a six year on my, my freshman year, so that was a little crazy. And now I'm a senior, so it's crazy how time flies. You know, we were just kind of reminiscing on when he used to just hang out with me at Hayden Hall, and so now it's kind of like a full circle moment. And, uh, Kind of surreal, man, how fast the time goes. I just remember freshman year, you, know, you tell you tell all the young guys, they don't believe you. I, mean, I didn't, but now your time's come. It's, it's a little sad, but I mean, I'm happy to be with the guys that I came here with, and like Billy, Ethan, Jaleel, and uh, just excited for one last ride. Do you, do you ever think back in the like, first time you got injured up there with the, the elbow? And yeah, I mean, like, I, I, the I, crowd I, I remember to, looking up there. You know, it was a cool moment. You know, I never played in front of so many people, and uh, you know, a lot of nerves that game, but coming out I was playing really good too and uh but yeah I mean, came back bounced back made a name for myself how proud are you just overall before you guys get into this just the turnaround defense undertook and you've kind of been here from the start of the moment. yeah I mean uh, we've come a long way I mean I don't want to say anything yet we still have a season to play you know, I know we have a lot to improve on still you know, we made strides you know looking back two years ago I mean me and Coach Eve, you know, joke about it here and there and now with Coach Alley coming in just the strides we're making now I'm really excited just to get out there and just prove what we already know. You know Danny, Coach V this oh, morning talked there. about how it's been a slower process than you want it to be just building this team back up. What has that been like being a part of it and where do you feel like the team is now? Yeah, I mean, I remember, you know, I think uh, it was Texas Tech two years ago, said uh, Rome wasn't built in a day and uh, here we are two years later and the pieces are finally, you know, coming together. And I'm really excited the foundation that we built, you know, shout out to the previous guys, you know, before me that, you know, we're just put into the culture you know, built the standard here, and now the new guys are coming in and upholding to it. Brent told a new story today about how when he first got here, he didn't see the linebackers come to his office, but then pretty soon recruiting trips, he'd see the linebackers come in, that chemistry. Mm -hmm. What what does that it mean story. to you when you think about stories like that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that, it's very exaggerated, that story, because, like, we were always with, like, TD Roof, you know, our, our defensive coordinator that we were with, so we were always with him because we thought he kind of knew the system. We were, we were up there, like, he exaggerated for the story. I mean, like... <laughs> You gotta remember, like we also didn't, didn't have a playbook. Like we didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into, but obviously we made such big improvement. I mean, the guys that stay here till kind of when the coaches leave, you know, we're up here just as early as them, and that commitment has come such a long way. You know, you look back, you know, two years ago, it's not to the level that it is now, and that's guys just wanting to be great every single day. You're not getting bored with the results that we see, and just being hungry. Danny Brent talked a, a lot about the young guys in your group today, and how you were the kind of the elder statesman, but he said the young guys are kind of following you and things. How good are those young guys? How good are how good is this group overall? Oh, they're phenomenal. I mean, you look at the kind of the, just the defense itself. You know, I'm surprised no Jaden Jackson questions. I was kind of prepared for that. <laughs> I mean, he's he's done an amazing job out there. You know, Jaden Hardy, Reggie Powers, Michael Boganowski, David Stone. I mean, I can go on and on. Dude. Those guys have come in. I mean, it's challenging as a freshman, man. You have so many habits that you have since from high school. Yeah. You're learning a whole new system, and to come in there, you know, work really hard, get the system down. You know, take the coaching points. And just improve, you know. And you're gonna have those rough days, you know. There, there's gonna be days where you struggle as a freshman, you know. Obviously, for the fall camp, it's challenging. I think those guys were able to you know, just get scarred up, you know, learn from those mistakes, and come out there every single day with a new attitude. What is, it about, what is it about Jaden? Just in terms of when was the moment that you're like, all right, this guy might be a part of the, the bigger picture here as a freshman. Yeah, I mean, he knows, like, you know, the first time he's in with the ones, I'm like, okay, let's see what he got. And then he makes a few plays, and you're like, all right, I like that. And he keeps coming over, and you're like, all right, well. This dude's a baller, man. Yeah. So he starts making those plays, and him and Dom have done phenomenal, and uh, DT as well. And you're like, all right, we really got some dudes up front. Like, we had one practice that was clean, man. Didn't have any, didn't have to wash the jersey. You know, it just it's thanks to those guys up front. You know, they do everything. It all goes through them. I mean, we talk about physical defense, and it starts with those four guys up front. Is it technique that he's just so much more advanced than everybody else, just as a freshman? I mean, I, I think so. But I, I mean, honestly, the way he's learned this defense, you know, that's kind of the hardest part. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of stunts that you have to know up front. I mean, Jaden's come in every single day. I hear him and Dom just quizzing each other, going at it, just they're two best friends. The way they're always just learning the system together. And that's what you want to see from a young guy and old guy that come in both uh, new to the program. Put this in perspective even more. He's only going to be the fourth defensive lineman as a freshman to start a game in the school's history. Who are the other three? Tommy Harris, um, 
Tommy Harris 2001, and there okay. were two Corey other ones. One, Corey Callen is 97, okay. and there was a player in 87. Who? So, uh, cool. I, don't know his name. I wrote it. Marcus, yeah, Marcus Strong. Lowe. Lowe, yeah, Lowe. Like Marcus Lowe, 87. In 40 years, don't forget Jaden Jackson's name. Uh, All right, that, let's make sure we keep that on the back. He's going to be phenomenal, man. You look at him and just what he's done, and you know, him and David are going to be definitely monsters in the years upcoming. Danny, what have you seen from Temple? What are you expecting out of that offense? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're such a multiple defense. They're going to have a lot of motions. I don't want to go too much into the game plan stuff. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, we know how they're going to attack us. You know, we bring we bring a lot of stuff. They're going to try and move the pocket, and just we're kind of expecting a lot of that. They brought in a running back that's about 240. Does that kind of excite you as a linebacker, even though, I mean, that's a load? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, whoever they got back there, I mean, I'm excited to compete. You know, like I said, you know, I had Tali Walker in the room last year, so, I mean, that's doesn't get much harder than that, so I'm excited for what they have. What have you seen from guys like Kip Lewis and Lewis Carter at that little spot? Oh man, they just the improvements that they've had, especially Lewis. You know, when he came in here, that's a guy that kind of played off instinct. You know, him and Kip as well. You know, Kip being more of a faster guy, kind of like his legs, but you know, Lewis just being a strong guy, really good in the box, but still has that speed. The ability that he's had to kind of learn the defense and kind of play within the system, make plays for himself, has been phenomenal. I mean, I remember when. You know, Lewis didn't know anything, both both of them. And now from where they've come, it's it's awesome. Being an older guy, really seeing that growth, you know, it really makes you proud. Good. Good. Thanks, Appreciate man. it. All right, sounds Thanks. good.